choy, fresh vegetables, toasted spices, and broth come together to make this comforting and healthy soup. Today on Grandma Bessie's house, we are making an easy and nutritious bok choy soup. This soup is healthy and is packed with flavor, so let's start cooking. The recipe and its ingredients are in the video's description. First, let's cook rice and lentils. Once cooked, set them to the side to cool. Take a second to like and share this video. When you have time, check out the GBH YouTube channel. We have lots of fun videos for you to enjoy. Also click the subscribe button below this recipe to know when we release new videos. Chop bok choy to size by separating the stems from leaves. Slice stems into bite-sized pieces. Slice leaves in half. Keep stems and leaves separated. Slice carrots into chunks. Peel and slice daikon radish into bite-sized pieces. Thinly slice radishes. Also peel and slice sweet potatoes. Slice mushrooms, green onions, and garlic. Roughly chop cilantro, making sure to separate stems from leaves. What other herbs or vegetables would you add to this soup? Tell us by leaving a comment below the video. Over medium low heat, toast spices by stirring them in a large pot, one to two minutes. Add bok choy stems and carrots. Stir and coat veggies with toasted dried spices. Add daikon radishes, radishes, and sweet potatoes. Stir to combine. If needed, add one third cup of water to make sure spices do not burn. Stir again. Add cilantro stems, mushrooms, minced jalapeno pepper, and garlic. Simmer while stirring for two minutes. Add a pinch of salt and broth. I'm using vegetable broth. Add fish sauce too and combine. Bring to a boil and cover. Reduce heat to simmer and cook for 10 minutes. Add bok choy leaves and sliced green onion. Stir again. Cover and cook for five minutes. Add cooked rice and cooked lentils. Combine and cook for two minutes. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and share it. Also, take a second to subscribe below the video and join the GBH family. Remove soup from heat and stir. Add the remaining cilantro and stir one final time. This soup is sure to warm your soul. Thank you for watching another episode of Grandma Bessie's House.